a group that has grown to over 500 fans came together to celebrate their favorite American band, Foo Fighters. I had the opportunity to speak to one of these super fans, all the way from Peru. I have fond memories listening to the Foo Fighters before my morning carpool to my high school in Gwynn, Michigan. My CD alarm clock was programmed to wake up to the song Everlong as I rolled out of bed. The alternative rock band's music psyched me up for early 6 a.m. swim practice as I made my trek from my home in Scandia to Gwynn. The tunes from their second studio album, The Color and the Shape, still ring in my head as I glided through the water. Every time I listen to that album, I'm transported back to adolescent memories of swimming with classmates, chatting with friends in the halls of the high school, and waiting for the bell to signal the end of the day. For Foo Fighters fans, their music hits them to the core. A community of devotees spans from across the globe. Seeking fellow music enthusiasts, I jumped on a Foo Fighters forum where I chatted with a young woman who sent me photos of a performance in Peru her cousin helped organize. On December 3rd, hundreds of superfans performed My Hero live in Lima. A unique experience was created at the Plaza de la Artes by the use of indigenous instruments. Thanks to that young woman and her family, I got an interview with Jose Hortado, one of the members of the Foo Peruvian Heroes. How did your organization reach out to hundreds of Peruvians to create this unique musical experience? In 2011, in 2011, me and a friend got a group together on Facebook and Instagram. Throughout the years, more friends that enjoyed the music of the Foo Fighters got involved. After the death of Taylor, the group became closer together and more people joined. They created a community chat on WhatsApp. At the beginning, there were only 10 people in Foo Peruvian Heroes. It was hard to recruit at first, but over time, more people joined. Now we are a group of over 500. Uh, the song My Hero was chosen. Can you tell me what that song means to you? They chose My Hero because it's meaningful in the sense that we are all heroes. Heroes of our families, not just doctors, firefighters, good policemen. Every person is part of a family and care is a family and represents a family. So we are all anonymous heroes. If you could say anything directly to Dave Grohl, what would you say? I am forever grateful. I would tell him how much he has inspired me, how much he has carried and lifted me through the hard times and bettered my life. And to come to Peru, of course. <laughs> Foo Peruvian Heroes was inspired by the organization Rockin' 1000, which played the song Learn to Fly in the city of Jesena, Italy. Their upcoming performance will be published on Dave Grohl's birthday, January 14th, on their YouTube channel, Foo Fighters Peru. Reporting for ABC 10 News, this is Selena Podola. I would like to thank everyone that helped me out with that story. Jose's family, I'm so grateful to you my husband for the translation, and my fellow model towners who brought back some high school memories. And thank you for watching ABC 10 News. Check out our website at abc10up.com and be sure to follow our YouTube and Facebook pages. I'm Selena Podla. Stay safe and warm, everyone.